8 Simple Ways How You Can Care Your Hair at Home Method 1. Avoid Heat Styling Tools Stop over styling your hair, warns celebrity hairstylist. If you must use heat, Paves recommends decreasing the temperature and always using a heat, otherwise, you risk damaging your hair, leading to breakage and frizz. Method 2. Skip the daily shampoo. By now, you've likely heard all the testimonials attributing great hair to going, no, poo, but do you know why it actually helps your hair? Shampooing your hair two to three times a week allows your natural oils to penetrate your hair, allowing it to hydrate and repair itself. Method 3. Be careful when you brush wet hair. Hair is especially susceptible to breakage when it's wet, but if you absolutely must get some knots out post-shower, make sure to use a brush that will go easy on your strands. Using a tangled teaser or wet brush is key. He also notes that the technique is just as important as the tool. Start gently brushing from the ends and gradually work your way up. And don't just brush the top layer, brush the hair underneath as well. If traditional brushes aren't for you, opt for a wide-toothed comb instead. Method 4. Sleep on a silk pillowcase. Getting better hair in your sleep is possible, all you need is to switch up your pillowcase. Silk is easier on hair, it helps avoid tangles and breakage. The less breakage your hair experiences, the longer your hair will be. Method 5. Finish your shower with a cool rinse. A super steamy shower isn't just bad for your skin, it's also rough on your hair. Turn the water temperature down when cleansing, recommends Paves. And rinse with cool water to help seal the cuticle and strengthen your hair before styling it. Method 6. Apply hair oils. This is a common way of promoting healthy hair growth. It is a very traditional way of ensuring a healthy looking hair. The oil produced then moisturizes the hair and the scalp. Try applying a little coconut, almond, or olive oil to your scalp and strands regularly. If you have thin, straight hair, apply an essential oil like coconut oil to your hair before shampoos and skip the regular applications. Your hair type is more susceptible to oil, so an overabundance of oil will make it appear weighed down. If you have dry hair, apply oil when hair is wet to seal in moisture. Because your hair tends to be drier, oil helps the hair retain its moisture, keeping it from breakage. You won't believe the results, soft, manageable, healthy hair. I assure you that you won't be disappointed. Method 7. Eat the right foods. Having long, strong hair doesn't just depend on which products you put on your hair, it also depends on what you put into your body. To promote hair growth, you need to feed the hair from the inside, try increasing your protein intake with foods like fish, beans, nuts, and whole grains. This is probably the most effective and important way of keeping your hair healthy. Vitamins, protein, and iron found in certain foods are very essential for hair growth. The hair cells need these nutrients for growth. They also give hair its natural sheen. We recommend that you incorporate iron-rich foods such as fish, beans, soybeans and vegetables into your daily diet. You should also include protein-rich sources, such as milk, peas, and lentils. Drink plenty of water daily to reinforce the work you are doing with your diet. Keeping yourself hydrated means healthy skin, nails, and of course, hair. If you're not a meat lover, you should still aim to maintain a diet high in protein. Foods high in protein as well as vitamins A, C, and E, minerals like zinc and iron, and omega-3 fatty acids can contribute to healthier hair. Method 8. Handle hair with care. You need to handle your hair with a lot of care. Use a brush with wide bristles to comb your hair. Wet hair should be combed gently as strands are very weak compared to dry hair. Handle strands with great care to ensure you do not overstretch them, causing breakage in the process. Brush your hair daily, preferably twice a day and do the brushing from the bottom up.